We are back to talk more about Japanese culture. Now at the top of the four, we learned about the significance of green tea and the traditional Japanese tea ceremony. One of the main purposes of the tea ceremony is to escape from daily routines and enjoy the hospitality of the host. So with that, we bring back Shannon Smith, who's actually in a tea room. And Shannon, it's much more than just a cup of green tea. Well, Beth, right now you're watching Atsumi do the professional or the traditional tea ceremony. She's been doing this for 20 years and teaches it in Japan. So you're watching an expert right now preparing this green tea using matcha, which is the ground up green tea, to do this traditional ceremony. You can see very intricate with the handwork. And Kumi Alderman is off camera, but Kumi, can you explain what she's doing right now? Yeah, she just um, scooped the green tea matcha and she's using the bamboo whisker to whisk the matcha and then she's getting ready for you to drink and there is i think there's a little bit of a process that goes into this it usually takes half an hour to do we're condensing it into three minutes um, as much as we can and she's going to present the tea to me now and there is special hand work you can see that goes with it i think i skipped a step too <laughs> or I let me to hold it first? <laughs> yes we took my microphone away <laughs> okay so first so you eat we eat the sweet yeah. to balance out the bitter tea, mm -hmm. which in this case is chocolate. Earlier it was mochi. Thank you for holding it. <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> um, and then there's a certain way yep. to hold the tea. And yep. so my friend here is going to show us how to do that. <laughs> so uh -huh. Alex, if you could do that on both of us, we can see uh, the best way to pick this up. So it's one hand here. We turn to show, thank you, the decoration on this beautiful teacup. And then we drink it in two sips. Yeah. It's tasty. <laughs> and she asked if it's good. I have to say it's good. Well, I guess I don't have to, but it is good. <laughs> and we finish it up. Drink that in two bites. Did I do that right, Kumi? Yes. <laughs> two and a half. Yes. Two and a half. Okay. <laughs> and then follow her. How do you clean up the white? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wipe it there, yep. I didn't finish mm -hmm. my chocolate. But <laughs> so mm -hmm. wipe it here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we'll keep this up now. <laughs> but uh, can we explain to me again why this is important in Japanese culture? Yeah, well, um, this is the hospitality. The um, Teishu is a, he's a, she's a host, and she's trying to make you comfortable and enjoy tea here. And then also when you're drinking the tea, you want to learn how, you know, how to respect who made this tea. So that's the way we learn how to avoid, especially this teacup has a front and then back. So we don't want to drink the tea from the front side. That's the reason you turn cups like that. So this is like a practicing life skill of the respect. Absolutely. Yes. And it's a really, it's a time altered tradition, like as we said, it started in the 1100s. Yes. And still goes on for a uh, couple different reasons. Could it be daily? It's seasonal? It goes with a lot of options, right? Yes, yes. Tea ceremony itself, it's not often that, but it's uh, like a seasonal, but we practice, you know, almost like every week they go to the, you know, learn how to do it. Yes. yes. Kumi Atumi, thank you very much for walking us through this. And there you guys have it. You saw a very abridged version of our traditional tea ceremony. Beth, I'll send it back Fascinating. to you. Fascinating. Yes. Thank you, Shannon, so much. A traditional tea ceremony. We appreciate it.